Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today we are bringing you an all-around build for NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Now, as you can see in the thumbnail, this is going to be a LeBron-type build. So with that being said, you're going to be able to do it all. Just like LeBron can, you're the same height, same everything. You're going to be just like LeBron James' build for all those LeBron fans out there, this is going to be the bill for you. Play defense, finish at the rack, play make, you can shoot, literally do everything. We're coming out with new build videos all the time, thinking of new builds, making new amazing builds for NBA 2K22 next gen. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into this LeBron go build so getting started you're going to make his position a point guard now lebron's a small four but let's be honest he's truly the point guard on the lakers so y'all will see in just one second point guard makes his build better than what making it a small forward would do so making him a point guard is going to be your best option and you're about to find out why and then his jersey number i made him number 23 I do believe he's actually number six. He changed back to number six this year. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments. So actually, we're going to be changing his number to number six. And moving on, you're going to make his height 6'8", just like LeBron. His weight's going to be 185, and you're going to bring the wingspan up to 7'6". Now, of course, bringing up your wings wingspan lowers your shooting a bit and your playmaking but your defense is better on this build to get that all around feel and of course you can finish with the right with the better wingspan and with the body shape i went with define thinking of lebron as a big strong human being so i just went with define but that's all personal preference with this build now moving on to the bread and butter as you can see the badges on the screen it's pretty high numbers like I said, all around build, this build can do everything. And as you can see with the badges, that's the case so far. So going into finishing, you're going to bring your close shot up to a 58, driving layup 80, driving dunk as a 92, and standing dunk as a 70. Now those stats right there bring your badge total up to 19 finishing badges. With that 92 driving dunk, you will be able to catch bodies just like LeBron. You can be just like him and all of his power and then moving on to shooting you're going to have a 76 mid-range 78 three-pointer and an 85 free throw now an 85 free throw is of course preference but myself likes to play five on five in the rec or in the pro-am so an 85 free throw is key for me to play in the rec but if you are a park player you can adjust your free throw and bring up some other stats if you would like just for me i put my free throw up to an 85 and then of course for those of y'all that have played next gen 78 3 and a 76 mid range is plenty enough points for you to be able to green consistently and knock down shots whatever it might be now moving on to playmaking the way you want to set up your attributes for playmaking is just like lebron with a 86 pass accuracy 79 ball handle and a 75 speed with the ball now these bring your bass total up to a 24 and you get exactly all you need for this build with the help of this playmaking it makes your build even more like lebron and does this build look good already now moving into your defense you have a 33 interior again like your point guard you're not going to be down there much you'll have a big man of course your perimeter defense is going to be a 90, your steal is going to be an 89, your block is going to be an 89, and your rebound is going to be 70s across the board. Now, putting up your block to an 89, of course you want to be able to get those chase down blocks that LeBron gets all the time, and he can defend the rack with block shots. You don't need interior defense to do that, and of course you have the steal and perimeter defense to help you out on the perimeter because... Of course, you have point guards that love to go side to side, and you need a little help with that. And then your rebound. Why not? your 6'8". Be just like LeBron. Get rebounds. Nothing better than that. Now, moving into the physicals, you're going to have an 80 speed, 78 acceleration, an 82 vertical, and a 99 stamina. Now, 80 speed and 78 acceleration is not slow. 
You will be pretty quick around the court, but you're not going to be God tier fast. But this matches up to LeBron's build very well. Then with an 82 vertical, that will, that's going to help you get contact dunks. And of course, a 99 stamina so you don't run out of stamina very easily. Now moving into the badges. These are the finishing badges that you get. Not a lot of Hall of Fames on the board, but it's simple badges that you need that will get it done easily. Is Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, Gold Posterizer, Hall of Fame Unstrippable, and Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher. Those badges are all badges that I recommend putting on this build. It'll make your finishing be so much smoother and easier at the rack. Then moving into shooting. Again, not a lot of Hall of Fames on this shooting, but again, you have all the badges that you need to be a successful shooter with Gold Sniper. You got Catch and Suit, Blinders, Dead Eye, Difficult Shot, Stop and Pop, Hot Zone Hunter. You have everything that you need to be able to be a consistent shooter on this build. Now moving on to playmaking. You have Hall of Fame Break Starter, Gold Bullet pa Passer, Gold Bullet Passer. You have Silver Dimer, Silver Quick First Step, Hall of Fame down Downhill for Fast Breaks, Silver Unpluggable. Again, all the badges you need to be a all-around build. And then last but not least, you have Defense. Now, Hall of Fame Chase Down Artist would be a insane badge to get all the cool highlight plays like LeBron does on the Chase Down blocks. Of course, you have Intimidator, Interceptor, Rim Protector, Pickpocket. You have everything you need to be able to play defense at an elite level just like LeBron does in the NBA. Now, moving on to your takeover. For primary takeover, it's all personal preference, but the best badge you could possibly put on this game to help yourself out would probably be spot up precision. I would put that one as my primary. And then second is all preference as well. You could go locked down with extreme clamps. You could go limitless range, be able to shoot from deep, or you could even go for easy blow buys be able to blow by your defender so much easier but in that case I feel like I'm going to go extreme clamps I feel like this will make my LeBron build even better than what people would expect seeing a lock secondary takeover and you'll be able to play defense get steals go on a fast break go dunk it do whatever you need to do and I feel like this is the best takeover setup that you could possibly have of course it's all per personal preference you guys could do whatever you want to do there with that being said you have built a two-way facilitating finisher it has shades of lonzo lamello ball and penny hardaway of course it's not going to say lebron because it's not a small forward but those are all amazing players for this all-around build I feel like this could be one of the best builds in the game if you really try at it but with that being said i hope you all enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like down below hit that sub button if you are new you already know road to 100 subs and of course drop a comment on what kind of different players you would like to see different questions you have about a build anything 2k wise i'll be there to answer it and let me know how you all like this build again i feel like it'll be one of the best builds in the game if you really work at it and it's definitely going to be a good one for all of those rec guys out there that love playing rec so i hope you all have fun playing this build and i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and peace